Have you ever seen this effect before? Pretty cool, right? Well, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make it. So let's go into the editor and start off with this block. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste this and put it into the next layer. And then you're gonna wanna put a uh, group ID, copy and paste that to the next layer, put a different group ID, and do that until you have uh, uh, four, four, four blocks in four different layers. So now let's go back to uh, layer five. So this is the first block and this is labeled 13. So this is our main block that's gonna have extensions to it. And five is the one that's gonna go upwards. So we're gonna take 13, place a move trigger, label it 13, and just adjust this. I'm gonna do move five upwards, erase it out. Um, then we're going to go to the next one, which is 14, and this is going to go downwards. All right. Next one, 15. This is going to go right. And the next one uh, is going to go left. So now we should have this, and let's see if it works. All right. So now you have a block that does this. Next up, we're gonna wanna get uh, another block in a different layer. Copy this, go to layer nine. Move the trigger, place a new trigger, all right. So that new trigger is going to go at an upwards angle, uh, diagonal, I mean. So uh, we're gonna just try, there we go. So as you can see, um, it's already starting to come together. So now we just need to do that with a few more blocks. So let's, oh, let's copy and paste this one to the next layer, and label it with a new trigger. Alright, um, let's make this trigger, same thing, opposite way, so 5, 5, there we go, almost done with this effect. Uh, let's get another one. And one more. Okay, so now we have our triggers. So let's go back and put those into action. So first we're gonna adjust it to go five right and downwards five. And make our next trigger 21. And this is gonna go five, negative five. And now what we have is an expanding square. So you can copy and paste these all over to kind of make that effect and also reverse it by doing the opposite of each trigger. So I hope this helps.